This is one of the weirdest redstone components in Minecraft, the weighted pressure plate. Now, there are two variants, the gold or light and the iron or heavy. Both are very similar to the wooden and stone pressure plates, but they act more like wooden plates, allowing any entity, even blocks, to activate them, whereas stone pressure plates can't be activated by blocks. Now, the light pressure plate, because it's made of gold, can actually spawn and ruin portals. Now, both of these pressure plates are used to count entities. The light pressure plate simply gives out a redstone signal the same amount as the entities presently on it, and the weighted pressure plate gives out a signal strength every 10 entities on it. However, from doing some testing, blocks of the same kind dropped on the pressure plates end up in the same stack and don't count. So, to get a stronger output from the pressure plates, you need to drop 10 unique items or have 10 mobs or players on the pressure plate at once. Now, this feature is rarely used, but it's useful for things like player detectors if you're trying to sneak in someone who's invisible, and this type of signal is usually read with a comparator.